Hi everyone, welcome to the Kiriops channel. I'm Rafael Lima and today we're going to be talking about switch conditionals. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so, hit the bell to receive the notification of my next videos and I'll be posting the links of the previous one so you can keep it up. Right, so I'm going to create a new class and I'm going to say switch conditionals conditional and I'm going to create the main class and I'm going to give it an option right when should you use the switch and use the if so the switch you can use with integers and charge you cannot use with anything else if you have a wide range of stuff to use so I usually I use switch for menus and uh, CLIs and and in, in my in my video that I use as, uh, that I created a CLI and I'll be posting the links for that CLI uh, for the playlist of the CLI in that video uh, in that playlist I use switch for the CLI right so I'm going to give a int option of three. And now I'm going to say switch option and I give it a block. Now I'm going to be uh, evaluating each option. So I do case one and I do do the option, do the code, do code for option one. Now I need to type break. So it's going to stop here and it's not going to be evaluating the next option. Case two, S out, do code for option two. And I break. So if I execute here, nothing happens. If I put two, it's going to do the code for option two. Now I'm going to do case three. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do case four. And now I'm going to do do code for option three or four. And now I'm going to do a break. So now if I type three, it's going to be the option. And if I type four, is also going to be that option so it's falling in here now i'm going to give a default option which is going to be do the default option and if i put 40 it's going to be the default option i do not need to put a break here if it's this is the last statement However, if this is not the last statement, if this is the first statement, I do need a break. Otherwise, the default is going to execute here. And now it's going to not break. It's going to go to the one and it's going to break here and it's going to execute this code. So see the default option and do code for option one. So I, I would need to put a break here. So you would only do the default. But usually as a pattern, the default is at, located at the very end of the switch. So you don't need to put a break because there is nothing else to evaluate. So we're going to be using a practice example more close to the day-to-day -day lives uh, of an engineer and you're going to have to decide by yourself when you need to use switch if or whatever. Right? So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive the notification of my next videos. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing and I'm going to see you on my next video.